Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, and I'm back with another Transformers review. Woo! And I'm doing something a little different with the camera, adjusting the settings. I had it on um, QVGA, um, which I don't really know what that Q would stand for. Quality? Not really quality, because I was noticed the videos are kind of, yeah, eh. The quality just wasn't there, so I bumped up the uh, camera, so hopefully this looks a little better, a little better quality image. And as you can tell, I'm starting to rock the beard. This is this is really kind of funny. I'm, I'm growing a, a full beard, and I've had this goatee for so... Ooh, doesn't that look creepy? I've had this goatee for so long. I've literally had this goatee for 20 years. I've, I, I started growing this when I was 16, and every time I grow my beard, this comes in first, and it's it just kind of kind of awkward, kind of funny. So anyway, um, Saturday, I'm watching a little football. I thought I'd do another Megatron review. I got a ton. I realized I have a ton, a ton of Megatron toys, and I haven't done a review on this one. So I, I you know, I was sitting there looking at it. I'm like. I'm going to look at Classics Megatron, and wow, yeah, this is a interesting toy, isn't it? Uh, you guys remember this? 2006, so this is a good six years old now. Um, yeah, when this first came out, I had some mixed mixed feelings about this toy. I was like, hey, a Megatron gun toy. And then I'm like, why does it look so goofy? And I'm like, it's, you know, it's supposed to be like spacey or something, some kind of super space tech type of deal. And then I found out yesterday this was not a futuristic gun. I And I had no clue, none, no clue. And I was watching some videos and I come across it, um, I think, uh, Bolt Matrix and Pew, might have been Pew, or P.A. or P.M. I, I, I presume it's pronounced pew, like pew, 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 pew. Um, you know, I was watching a couple of their videos, and uh, particularly on this guy, because I couldn't remember exactly how to transform the thing. And uh, I want to say it was Bolt Matrix that, that brought it up, that this is, this is a Nerf gun. It's a fucking Nerf gun. Uh, that's what this alt mode is. Don't believe me? Here, let's take a look at it. Yeah, here we go. This is the Nerf Maverick toy, the Nerf gun. I mean, it's almost spot on looks just like this thing. Uh, absolutely is what this is supposed to be. Just hilarious that they turn Megatron into a Nerf gun. How helpless is that? And here is a lineup of variations of the Maverick Nerf gun. And if you notice, the one in the bottom left corner even has the scope. It's identical to Megatron's scope, except it's spun around the other way. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that, that, that's what it is. How ridiculous. Oh, how Megatron must have felt when he found out that his alternate gun form shot Nerfs instead of bullets. That'll tickle the Autobots. Sheesh. So yeah, he turns into a damned Nerf gun. Um, I find that, I, I find it interesting and funny. Um, it's very creative for Hasbro to do that because Hasbro obviously owns Nerf and Making a toy gun is kind of sketchy in the United States. I mean, even a fake Nerf gun has to have orange caps on it. Really, does this look like any gun that you could buy in a store? Um, so th they they modeled it after one of their own toys, which I find amusing. And at the same time, I find it utterly ridiculous because this turns him into the most pathetic Transformer ever. Okay, Megatron turned into a hand pistol. Cool. Pretty awesome. Uh, G2 Megatron turned into a tank. Even better because it's bigger and more destructive. Um, Bayformer Megatron turns into a jet thing and a tank thing. He even turns into a big rusted old pickup truck or a semi truck. At least I can run people down. What the hell is he going to do as a Nerf gun? Tickle, Autobots, tickle! I mean, come on, really? I just, <laughs> that's just ridiculous to me. Uh, but it is 
it is a good design. It looks like the Nerf gun. It does. Um, I do like this toy because it's got some nice playability to it. Um, it does click when you pull the trigger. It's almost a little too small for my hand. Um, it goes about halfway in my hand here when I hold it. Um, and the finger, it's a good thing that comes back really easy because it's not really built for an adult hand. Now, a kid, this would be perfect for. And this is not bad for an adult as far as hold and, 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 and those kind of things. Now, the detail on it. I'll talk about the paint scheme. First of all, he's kind of a, a smoky gray or a dark, dusty white color. It's not gray. It's not white. It's not eggshell. Um, it's just kind of a dirty white or a very super light gray. Um, he's got the gun. And this looks exactly like the Nerf toy where that's where all the Nerf um, missiles would be held. Um, you would actually knock that out, load it up, and put it back in kind of like a revolver, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, the color scheme on this thing. Obviously, the smoke color is kind of an homage to the G1. Um, his um, scope up here, or the uh, in-strike add-on for the Nerf gun, um, which is a scope, that's black, very, very reminiscent of the... Uh, G1 Megatron figure. Now, I love the molded-in painted Decepticon logo. I think that is very cool. The other thing that's kind of neat, you can kind of see it a little bit right here. There is a scope in this, a, a sight scope. And let's see if you can pick it up. There it is. There you go. So there's the scope. It does have one in it. It's not a very good scope, but it does. It is there. And that's that's very cool, kind of G2 uh, style. And the rest of his color scheme is very G2. The uh, the purple and the green and that kind of stuff. We do have some nice gold high or yeah, I guess it's kind of a gold paint highlights all over. I mean, it's very flashy, but they do, I guess, go together relatively well. And I mean, we got some nice detail on the butt there um, of the gun right here. All that kind of good stuff. I mean, it does look. It does look like the Nerf toy. I will, I will, I will give it that. It's a totally different color scheme. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if they actually put this in the uh, color scheme of the Nerf toy. I think that would be a fun release. Maybe per put the Nerf logo on there instead of the Decepticon logo here. Put a Nerf logo. I think that would be kind of fun. Now, you do see the Decepticon logo inside the barrel there, um, and you do see some of the robot bits in there. This side, it's less noticeable up here, but that's okay. We've got a fake piece here. We got the sight right there, which is very cool. Um, all in all, I mean, it looks it looks pretty neat. It looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, pretty pretty darn interesting um, that it's a Nerf gun. I, I'm still kind of befuddled about that. Transformation on this guy is, once you figure it out, it's not that difficult, but just initially doing it, it's kind of odd. Um, you want to break these pieces apart or take them apart like that. And then you get this holy heck of a mess inside. It's Megatron gone wonky, right? Um, this is going to become his arm, obviously. Now, this is kind of interesting. They're right here, and this will be part of his side. They're the Nerf guns, the Nerf bullets. I thought that was a little interesting, uh, kind of thrown in there. Um... What you do is just kind of, I'm going to pull this guy apart. That's going to be his leg. This is going to be his wings. Um, you're going to flip that up a bit. <clears throat> so his legs, you want to come down like this. You're going to push these pieces up. His feet are on the bottom. You're going to unflip them real quick. Hurry, hurry. Dun, dun, dun. So, and then you just kind of push the the shins up a little bit. He's got that nice ratchety click. I like that in a transformer. Um, his body here, you're gonna kind of put like this, spin him around, and then get him nice and clamped on there. This arm is gonna come down in like this. Um, you're gonna. Spin Spin it around this way. Um, his hands 
are actually folded in very nice and neatly. Oop, goes that way. Pull that one out. So there's one arm. Oop, back down on their body. This one's going to pull up here like so. And again, very cool that we see the Nerf gun pieces right there. I'm going to spin this arm around. I'm going to bring that out. And then this hand's going to come out like so. Just kind of bring the gun piece back up this way. Um, the back, the trigger bit is going to plug up into this little hole here. And that is actually very difficult to undo. Um, and then let's get the wings ah, like this. He's got his little wings, which is advertised on his box as having wings. I thought that was interesting. It's kind of like a feminine hygiene product. And then you're going to bring the head up and close it up. And I believe that's it. Yes, there is Megatron in all of his classics gloriousness. Um, uh, the robot mode in this is okay. He is kind of an odd looking version of Megatron. I do love the giant Decepticon logo here in the paint apps. His head sculpt kind of looks like the G1 Megatron, uh, but the paint and the face sculpt itself is a little off to me. Um, and the other thing that's very strange, he's got light piping, but it's green. Uh, the translucent green. I, it's to match this, of course. But the light piping does work very well, as you can see. He looks... Very cool. Oh, very neat. Um, so these wings, these they're supposed to be out like this, so he has wings. You could, I suppose, do that if you want a more G1 look to him and just kind of fold them back like that. I generally just leave them out. Um, yeah, they're supposed to be flight wings. Um, these little clips can fold in that connect. So it looks more flight-like, I guess, like that. <clears throat> um, yeah, the thing that really bothers me the most, aside from the wings, is this cannon. It's on the wrong part of the arm. It should be mounted right here. You should be able to flip it. But in order for him to do that, his hand literally is like, I mean, he's like doing one of these numbers here. Um, and it just looks really, really bad um with that hand so uh it is what it is i guess i generally just kind of leave leave it like that um or like that is generally how i leave it i like the bulk of it i think it looks cool it looks very g1 megatron like it's just disappointing that you can't at least spin that hand around so um that's kind of disappointing articulation it's okay up and down ratchet He's got this way, he's got the elbow joint ratchets. His posability is hampered by these wings. He's on a ball joint here. His head actually has really, really nice movement. Zero articulation in the waist. His legs can go this way, this way. He's got knee joints, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, feet, very little. He just can move his little toes. So, I mean, it's an okay figure. Um, as far as it being a Megatron figure... It's got its perks and it's got its drawbacks. I hate these orange caps, but that's just a standard U.S. thing. Um, you can get the Hinkai version of this uh, that does not have these little caps. And they also did a G1 paint style version of this guy. But it's just, this figure is not cool enough for me to, to, to want that. Um, he does have nice detail. Uh, we got some nice robot detail down there. Uh, like I said... Love the chest piece here. His whole cod piece is eh, not too bad. It's okay. Lots of gold and purple and the, the smoke type stuff. Um, it's an okay figure. Uh, would I recommend this figure? If you're a Megatron fan, yeah, sure, pick it up. Um, I do like the bulk plastic of it. Uh, I think it's 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 a good size Voyager figure. I think it was the largest uh, figure that they put out, uh, that year. So yeah, it's not too terribly bad. It's got decent paint job. The color scheme is kind of wild and wonky. 
And just the sheer fact he turns into a Nerf gun kind of blows my mind. So there he is, Megatron from the Classics line. Uh, hope you liked it. I hope the video looks a little bit better than uh, previous videos. I'm going to try to tweak it out a little bit further. And have a great week, guys. Megatron!